Hey, it's Karen, Max's mom. Today I am reviewing these two carriers for Roxy. She has tracheal collapse and also some spinal issues. So when we go on our longer journeys, she's not always able to make the whole way. Um, I'll see her kind of slow down or she'll look up at me, letting me know to pick her up. And also just, I don't like her walking more than an hour because she is so small and she's 10 years old and she has um, a few health issues so I just like to limit her walking when possible because sometimes I'll see flare-ups later so her spine will be hurting or her back will be hurting or um, she'll be coughing a bit more but the coughing also depends on the weather and we do tend to walk longer distances in the colder months so yeah I just I picked up this $20 one from Petco it's a sling carrier holds up to 10 pounds so it's perfect for Roxy because she's 8.7 pounds also picked up another one from K9 sport sack this is the extra small and the color and everything is just perfect so the one from Petco was $20 this K9 sport one is $80 it's a bit outrageous I think um but I'm assuming that's for people who are like you know who who hike a lot who need a really supportive carrier that can attach to them while they're walking their dog and they know that the dog is secure because in the sling she could fall out if we're like hiking somewhere like if we're going uphill like she could she could easily tilt over so this one she's very secure in it the canine sport one we had a bit of a hard time figuring out how she's supposed to go in there uh it, it didn't seem very comfortable to roxy at all her bottom half felt kind of scrunched up in there she's just kind of sitting in it i'm in her back legs are in the bag and i can see her getting frustrated with that and then her front legs go through the two openings at the top and she will be facing me on the walk the entire time. I could see this bag working well for a dog that is accustomed to going on hikes and you know has to be kind of um I guess doesn't always have freedom to just roam because they're going uphill and they're used to being protected um but Roxy's not used to being confined and so I could tell she was kind of like what's going on in this one and um it just kind of felt like she was just sitting in there like she kind of felt like just a sack of potatoes on my back um and she didn't seem like she was enjoying it and of course this is something a dog would have to become used to but she wasn't for this at all it didn't seem like it was supporting her as much as it could have um and for eighty dollars to play a guessing game on whether or not she'll like it i didn't like it now this did come with like a, a year warranty so i could return it after a year but i just i wanted something that i could take to the park and get dirty and not worry about and know that it would be fine for her to to um be carried in the sling was the choice we decided going with because it's only 20 dollars, and that's great for us to test out um walking long distances through the parks or the beach or wherever we're going that day and she seemed to have more freedom like she could get up and move around if she wanted to and she could um i guess not feel confined and it comes with an attachment so when she's wearing her harness i can attach it to the bag there's a little um kind of like a loop in the bag so that she doesn't fall out of it and i really like that so we're gonna go with this one she still seemed kind of nervous and like kind of like what is really going on like she didn't seem scared she just kind of seemed like what are y'all doing um but yeah this is the choice we're gonna go with i recommend a sling bag where your dog can move around if you have like a house dog that's used to roaming and having their way so that they don't feel kind of they don't feel confined or stuffy and also she can see um, she can move if she wants to and this bag is supporting her and it's not hurting my shoulders which I like because the one when it when she was on my back with the canine sport one it kind of felt like she was pulling me back and I felt kind of bad because it felt like she was just kind of just floating in air and I feel like this one she's just kind of sitting on my hip 
But thanks so much for watching. I hope that this video helps you in deciding on whether you need a sling carrier or a backpack carrier for your small dog. Roxy is a Pomeranian Chihuahua mix and she weighs about nine pounds. So really anything is comfortable for me, but because she is so light, it's easy for her to get squished. And I wanted to make sure she was comfortable. And so the sling one where it's sitting on my hip, I maybe I'm able to see her and she's able to move around and rearrange if she wants to be comfortable. And it also comes with attachments so that she does not fall out of it, which makes me happy. Again, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you love dog and lifestyle content and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.